welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us for this um, introductory to the Wikitree Challenge. First, I just want to briefly cover what a Wiki, the Wikitree Challenge is. Really, Wikitree's biggest ongoing community event, and we take seven bull ancestors and we grow their family tree out within seven degrees. That's kind of where we're focused on. And that means that we are um, adding uh, profiles to um, any profiles that are connected within seven degrees. So that includes uh, stepchildren, second wives, you know, just way out. You want to go, we're, we're focused on going wide. So not necessarily um, back really far or down really far. We want to go as wide as we can so that we can find as many connections to the global tree as possible and um, have as many places out there so that other people, when they come to Wikitree, they then can find their family maybe that are already here. So that's, that's the focus. And it was started really to help us spread the word about Wikitree. Last year, we started doing genealogical societies and we're continuing that trend this year. So I uh, just want to say if anybody has a suggestion or if you are part of a genealogical society and would like to take part, just send an email to aon at wikitree.com. I'll add that to the description of the video so that everybody has that. Um, but we'll, we're definitely interested in hearing from anybody who has um, a suggestion for, for that. So today we're just going to talk through, um, we're going to focus on this first challenge of 2024 as our example. Um, so we'll walk through what that looks like. So this first challenge is taking place. Um, we're doing seven notable profiles from New Mexico. And this is the, what we call the join post on the uh, G2G, which is Genealogist to Genealogist Forum, where we um, collaborate and communicate. And the links for the, all of the Zoom uh, chats is also on this post here. The space page for the challenge is linked to this post, and the answers for the ancestors will be showing. And when you, you want to claim a bounty, you'll be answering there for those. So you'll want to maybe bookmark this um, and keep it keep an eye on it. You can also collaborate with other members. Ancestor answer. You can say I'm working on this line and on this family. That's just a, a way to communicate with the other members of um, the challenge. Another way to communicate and collaborate is the current challenge channel on our Discord server. So Discord is a real-time chat application. The link for the challenge channel is in the Zoom chat and also the Discord help page. So that if you aren't already on Discord, you can go to that help page and learn more about it. And the directions for getting started on Discord are there as well. So those are ways to communicate. Um, another place that you want to kind of bookmark and you'll be wanting to add to is the space page, the free space page for the challenge. So you can see right here at the top on the right hand side, the G2G posts are linked here. So the original post for joining the challenge and then this, the post about this Zoom call today are linked here. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see um, at the top, there's a button back to the main Wikitree challenge help page. There's a link to the G2G post for the challenge. And then right here we have the score sheet. I'm not gonna go there now. It's not available until the challenge starts. Um, we have a team member, Alesh, who gets that get started for us so that it's tracking um, tracking that information. So once you've registered for the challenge, you get a badge 
on your profile. And um, that's what we key off of to track your contributions during the, the challenge week. The next part of this space page is uh, showing us our starting profiles, the seven starting profiles for the challenge. And we'll get back to this little notation here about how to find missing connections. Um, and as, I, as soon as I've gone over the profiles in this space page. So this space page is another way we collaborate and communicate with other team members. Um, we have a section here where you can note down that something needs work. So if there's something that you need help with or you wanna hand it off to some, somebody else who maybe can work on it, take it further, all you have to do is edit this page and go in. Here, here's the section we were just talking about, needs work. And all you have to do is you can make a note that you need help with something or something needs work. And then what you'll wanna do is add four tildes and that's what that looks like. When, once you do that and you hit the save, it signs your profile ID and the time, date and time that you added the note so that the person who maybe can then take that, um, what you've put down and take that further and do that work that you're requesting help with, they know who to contact. They know who to talk to about it or if, if they have any questions. So I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm gonna save the changes and go back to the free space page here. So now down in the needs work section, you can see this test note and it left the profile ID and the time, date and time stamp here. So that just gives you an idea of what that, how that works. So that four tildes is a, you wanna kind of keep that in mind. It's because in the different sections now, you'll wanna use that little markup whenever you need help with anything or you wanna add anything to this page. So the next, next section is about photographs. If you have any questions about images being um, protected by copyright, leave the image link here and sign it with the four tilts so that we can get back to you about it. Uh, there is a, a, a help page for images. Um, if you just go to the help menu here and you go to photos, uh, let's see. I think it's just down here if I go to P and you go to photo FAQ. There's actually a really good section on this about copyright and how you know whether or not it's okay. Um, right here, how do you know if you have permission to upload a photo? So kind of take a look at this first before asking for more help on that. Of course, we're always, everybody's always well, um, you know, happy to help with any questions you have, but try to try working through that first. Uh, we have different WikiTree members. Karen Lowe is one of them that is um, near a um, family search center. So she's able to do direct lookups um, on those. Sometimes the family search records um, aren't available because of copyright issues. They aren't available online for everybody. You have to actually be at a, a family search center for the lookup, uh, the dig digital lookup. So if you leave, there's a place here to start a list. So if you want, um, help with the uh, lookup. All you have to do is just leave the link there. And again, sign with the four tildes and um, the, the WikiTree members that have volunteered for that, they keep an eye on this and they'll, they'll get back to you about it. That's why it's important to leave the four tildes so they know who to contact about, about that line item. The next section is um, just really great uh, to share 
um, and collaborate more about where we're working. You can list out, which we've already got started here, you can see any countries that we are moving to. So the, the profiles we're starting with are from New Mexico, but you can see the family lines have already gone into these different countries and all these different states within the US already. So um, if you come across different ones than the ones listed here, please add them because we like to know that information. Uh, when we're working with the society, they love to hear that information too, to see how far out we go. <laughs> all right. So the next section um, is where you share what you found, interesting finds in your work, the research work that you've done. So that for returning members of the WikiTree Challenge, they'll notice that it's a little bit different of a layout. Um, we've added um, each of the starting profiles and then the interesting finds and information under each profile. So just as an example, we've got the, se the section, first section here is the first profile for John Denver, and there's a section for interesting finds. So if you come across a really interesting story in um, when you're adding profiles to John Denver's family, please let us know about it. We love to hear that. And there will be a survey about towards the end of the challenge that we uh, send out a survey and it's a chance to uh, win bounty points if your uh, interesting find gets picked by the other members of the challenge. There's a section here also for um, letting us know about military profiles. And then we've got it broken down by um, the wars, the different wars. And again, this, as before, I keep repeating myself, but <laughs> it's a good point to always sign your entry with the four tildes, especially with the interesting finds, because that's that's how we'll know who to award the bounty points for um, if you've won the survey. So there's a section for each of the seven ancestors for all that, all of those items for the interesting finds to share. So further down here then too is um, a section for free space pages. So a free space page, if somebody is not familiar, is just a, a page that can be really for anything. It can be for if there's a family Bible or if there's letters or if there's a photo album, you can have a free space page for that subject or item and um, you can add images to it um, and then refer back to it um, from the profile, from the ancestors profile. Um, another really good use of free space pages are for wills um, to transcribe. If there's a long will, you can use that free space page to get it transcribed out. And then you can link to it from the ancestor profile. Instead of having that whole long will on the ancestor profile, you can just refer to it. So it, it keeps the ancestor profile biography really nice. So the next section here, uh, so there's a place there in, here um, for you to make a note. If you create a free space profile, let us know because we like to hear about that. Um, I do have a link here uh, for a resource and just for um, notation, the New Mexico Genealogical Society um, one of the ancestors was mentioned in um, one of their journals, and so we're uh, we're using one of those ancestors. So we just want to make a note note of that. Other places we use free space profiles uh, is for cemeteries, and I've got some listed out here because further down here we have place studies is another one. Two of the profiles are from the Raton, New Mexico one place study. So these are some examples. And since these uh, three are in return already, there may be family that you're adding that you'll want to add to the cemetery category for that, for that cemetery. Um, one of them um, also is in Dawson, New Mexico, which is near return. Uh, there was a two um, mining disasters there. So there's 
quite a few that were in this area, Raton, that um, also lived. There's some crossover with Dawson. There's actually also a Dawson, New Mexico, one place study. Um, if you go into this link here, it takes you to all of the New Mexico place studies. So you may come across um, some profiles that um, you could add the place study sticker to. So they're part of that study. If you're interested in starting a one place study, uh, there is uh, information about that on this link here that takes you to the project page. Um, I have to say though, warning, they are very addictive and you'll wanna keep starting for a new one place studies once you get started. Okay, and then we have a section on the space page um, like we have on the G2G post for the challenge for the Zoom schedule of um, chat and the links for those uh, Zoom chats. The next section of the uh, space page, part of what we're doing, I mentioned before, is uh, what the Wikitree Challenge is about is spreading the word about Wikitree out there. And so um, this is linked here we share out on the Wikitree official uh, social media accounts about the challenge. And so if you're on social media and you'd like to help spread the word, all you have to do then is click on the link for each of these. If you're on Twitter, if you click on this link, it takes you to that post and you can retweet it. Or if you're on Facebook, you can share it. So this just gives you that option. So you'll see down here a little bit further. Um, you can see I've got on my personal um, social media that I've shared these images that are attached to this space page um, I've shared on my social media. That the images, if you'd like to use them, they're right here. There's one here for uh, just sharing that you're a challenge participant. And you can just go right into this image. And if you right click on it, you can save it to your desktop and then you can upload that to your Facebook or Instagram, whatever you use for social media. Um, we, there's one here also for if you've maybe made a discovery or you found something really interesting, an interesting story in the newspaper, you can share this um, image out on your social media to show that you've found an interesting story. So those are some ways to help us spread the word. About halfway through the challenge, um, we post out on the G2G post and here on the space page, what the brick walls are and the brick walls are an opportunity, another opportunity to earn bounty points. Um, and so you'll uh, get that information here. And if you are able to break down the brick wall, then um, you just claim it out on G2G that you've broken that brick wall down and we'll get you those points. All right. And the final section here is all about the resources. So there are links to general Wikitree sources, resources that you can check out. And then if there are African-American profiles that you're adding to Wikitree, there are uh, different things here that you'll wanna check out before going too, too much further. We have an African-American sticker that we ask that people add to the profile. And this is the wiki markup for that. It goes right below the biography line on the profile. There's a link here that describes how to use it too. So just check that out. And then we have specific resources. Um, you can, if you have some you found that would be helpful, go ahead and add those here. Um, for United States, we have links to the New Mexico source records. And then within the source library, there's a space page <laughs> that has um, resources or sources for New Mexico. And it's broken down by uh, the first section is for kind of the 
uh, general state resources that are available out there. And these are free resources. And then you, it, it's broken down by the counties. So you'll see um, I'm in Colfax County. And so uh, these are the ones I've found for the county I'm in. Um, feel free if you have some for your county, go ahead and, or even for the state of New Mexico, feel free to add that. Um, that's what WikiTree is all about, is about collaboration. So we love, we love having more information. And some of the profiles are into New York, so I've added the same information here for New York. Um, in the source library, just want to take you to that briefly. Uh, let's see. In the source library on Wikitree, there is um, a link to, let's see, I think, I thought it was linked to go, to go back there, but let me take us there real quick here. Yeah, so there, the source library has not only um, space pages for each of the states of the US, but it also has for different countries. And there's even a section in the library for family genealogies. So books that are for free on uh, the internet, um, maybe on Hathi Trust or Google Books or the Internet Archive. They've got each got a space page in the library. So if you haven't used that before, definitely check that out. It's a great resource. So here is one of the ancestor profiles that we'll be focusing on for this first challenge. Um, all the profiles are notables. So you'll see here at the top that it's a notable connection. Um, and John Denver has already, he has 305 connections. So you can see that right away. So that's where we'll start the challenge. So what I wanted to show next it, yeah, is um, on this tab of the profile, the tree apps tab, if you open that up, you have um, this view, all the different views of this person, this ancestor's family tree or family ancestral information. So um, right now I'm showing a fan chart for John Denver. So here he is, and it's this is his his family fan chart. So hopefully when the challenge is over, maybe this will be filled in a little bit more. Another app that's on Wikitree um, is the Six Degrees app. And so this kind of gives you an idea what it looks like right now before the challenge is starting. Uh, this is John Denver, six degrees. Actually, it's showing seven degrees out um, and how that, that looks. By the end of the challenge, of course, this will probably be a lot bigger, a lot more dots on the, on the, pic, on the image here. <laughs> so that's going to be the fun part of that. So the next item I want to show, which is kind of what this is all about, is how you can uh, participate how you can find where to work or how to add those connections. So if you go to the tree apps, um, again, the this tab in the tree apps, one of the options is if you click on this down um, drop down menu is this item called CC7 views. And what this does is it takes you to this listing of um, profiles connected within seven degrees. And like I said, you can drill down to just one level. So you can go out to like degree four. So to give you an idea of what the degrees are, John Denver is degree zero. His parents and siblings, spouse and children would all be degree one. Degree two would be um, his grandparents his siblings, spouses, and children. So it just grows out from there. So right away here, you can see that uh, this person doesn't have um, parents. 
So you can see right here, you could go from there and start working on trying to find the parents for this person. So if you look here at the top, the column listed here, if you just click on, I just clicked on the parent column. So you can see zero parents are on these profiles. I'm sorting by this. So this, this is an opportunity if you think, okay, this is Russia, 1874, I can, I feel comfortable working there, then you could work there. If you don't feel comfortable, you can check on another profile. Let's see, uh, 1924 in Minnesota, this person doesn't have any parents. Okay, I'm comfortable working in Minnesota in 1920s era and trying to find this person's parents. So then you can just go right into that profile and start working there. So it kind of gives you an idea of where, where you can work. Um, you can maybe say, oh, I wanna see people that don't have any siblings. Then you can sort by that and it'll show you all the, it'll sort those to the top. So you'll see all the people who don't have any, any siblings added. So Matilda, Martha Matilda Berry doesn't have any siblings. I wanna see if I can find some siblings for her. So it just gives you an idea of how, where you wanna work. If you wanna work on adding spouses, click on that, that uh, header right there and that'll show you all the profiles that don't have any spouses. So that just kind of gives you an idea um, on where and how to get started. Definitely check out the video. It kind of goes more into depth on how you can do that. If you go to Henry's profile, so on, on Henry's profile, also what you can do is if you click on this 305 connections, it takes you to this page. It's a different view of the same type of information. So it shows you how many profiles are, or what profiles are connected to them at each degree. So if you wanna kind of start further away, so you're away from the main activity um, of the challenge, uh, you can go out here to the degree four and say, oh, this looks, this guy looks interesting. He doesn't have any parents or um, anything. So let me see if I can work on this and try to find some people for him. So you know you're starting at degree four. You have three degrees out from this profile that you can add to and be earning points for the WikiTree challenge. So that kind of gives you an idea of how to participate and the different ways to get to the information. Um, so if you are on a profile that doesn't have that nifty little link at the top that I just went to to find that page, um, all you have to do is go to your connections page and you can see here, it has a place for you to add in a Wikitree ID of somebody else. So if I were to add like this profile, for instance, I think I just closed out of there. Oh yeah, here we go. So that other ancestor profile, if I just type that in there, and I already know how far that person is away from the main profile, then I can see, okay, here I wanna, I wanna work two degrees out from that person and add one more degree to them. So it kind of gives you an idea of how you can view the different information. So there were no questions um, asked in the G2G post specifically about how to participate. So I'm gonna just open it up to any questions from you all that are um, here on the call with me. So does anybody have any questions about participating and how, how, to, how to take part? Yeah, no, this was super helpful and uh, oh, great, great intro. So it's much clearer now what we're supposed to do <laughs> and of what, how we generate the profiles and you know, what information you're looking for. So this was really great. Great, I'm so glad it, could, it helped. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you.